So far in today's show, we've seen the care Wausau Siding Systems takes to produce their products. But what good is it if those products arrive damaged to the job site? So it should come as no surprise that this innovative company has created a specialized packaging system to ensure their quality siding products arrive in pristine condition. So now let's catch up with Dusty Dvorak to learn more about this process. Stuart, in a previous show we talked about how our diamond coat finish is applied and the importance of a quality finish. But, you know, as important as all that is, what's really important is that we get it from here to the job site through the construction process without damaging the product. And one thing that sets us apart from all of our competitors is the way we package. So what you can see here is we're actually four packing the eight inch siding and there's a slip sheet between the face. So you've got uh, a finished face, a finished face, and a slip sheet between it. Then two pieces go back to back and then you get another slip sheet in between. So you can see that's all done in an automated fashion. At no point is one finished surface in contact with the other. We've either got a slip sheet between them or they're back to back. The beauty of this is obviously transportation, handling on the job site. We want to make sure it gets from right here to the sidewall and we don't have any marring on that siding. And so this product that we're looking at is coming out of the drying oven and that drying process was pretty impressive and that's what really gives it that extra hard, extra durable diamond coat finish. Correct, and it's in that oven for about uh, oh, 20 minutes at 140 degrees. What's happening at this point here is if we have it stacked up like this, how do we know what color it is? So we have a zebra printer that actually prints a barcode label with the color name on it. So we know that once it gets packaged, we know we're running light gray, eight inch smart lap. So it makes it very, very simple to identify what it is exactly we're doing. Okay, so you're stacking them up four deep here. They have the slip sheet between them for protection, barcoded, then what happens? The next step in the process is that it has to get the plastic tube applied before it gets shrunk wrapped. So that's what's going on right here. And you can see what it does basically, it wraps it from two sides and then it'll be heat seamed together and the ends will also be heat seamed together. So once this is applied, then it has to be shrunk so that the pieces remain tight within the package. So we've got a loose tube on here right now and then it enters a 475 degree oven to complete the process to make sure we shrink that plastic and stabilize the product within. Oh, and so this is like heat shrink tubing that we're all familiar with. It shrinks down once it's heated and that really provides a full wrap protection? Full wrap protection. Remember, we talked about how do you transport siding around a job site, right? You got loose pieces in your hand, they're getting marred on the face. Here it's a tight package of four. And I bet the contractors love this because four is manageable. Regardless of how long it is, it's not too heavy that you can't carry it. And if you've ever tried to pick up more than one piece of siding, if they're not bundled together properly, they tend to slide at either end. And that ultimately is what leads to the marring. Exactly, that leads to the marring. And the problem is typically that gets up on the sidewall before it's noticed. And you might be two thirds of the way up the wall before you, you see those light abrasions on there. With this packaging process, we know we're not gonna have that issue. Here you can just grab a pack of four, walk around that house, go wherever you need to apply that siding. You can take a maneuver around the house without a whole lot of difficulty. Sure, and it's gotta be great in new construction, but especially beneficial in a remodeling situation. I would think you pull in, where can you set the materials? Always out front. It's tough to get it around back. Right, and on a job site that you're going onto a remodel application, you've got bushes and shrubs around the entire perimeter of the house that you've got to contend with, and you want to be able to maneuver. With four pieces of siding in your hand, you can easily do that. Sure, so it's contractor friendly, Consumers are going to love it because they're going to have less marring. Right. So again, whether it's the packaging, whether it's the blind nailing, it's the diamond coat finish, you're really looking out for the end user. They're going to get the best end result and the longest longevity. Exactly. And it looks like it doesn't end here. It actually gets palletized and then you wrap it again. So everything is already protected from the inclement weather, except we want to take it one step further. So we actually palletize and then we put a shroud over the entire unit. So. Let's say somebody delivers on a Friday, the project isn't scheduled to start till Monday. We know that that product is gonna be weather protected until they're ready to start. And when you think about delays in construction, why do they usually get delayed? Because it's raining outside, they're not there working, but now they can rest assured their product's not gonna be damaged. Absolutely, and, and we appreciate you coming and seeing us today, Stuart. Well, thanks a lot for walking us through all the innovations that continue to happen here at Wausau. You Park. bet, my pleasure. <laughs>